quickly I realized um, that this was first of all an issue that was widely misunderstood. People had seen tax havens as a kind of exotic sideshow to the global economy. My definition is really just two words. The first word is escape and the second word is elsewhere, somewhere else. In other words, you take your money somewhere else to escape the rules and laws that you don't like. That's the essence of a tax haven. This is a phenomenon that is everywhere. It's all around us. Every company that we use, every, you know, anything, you know, milkshake that you drink, if it's made by a well-known company, it will be, that milkshake will somehow have a connection with tax havens. So what you have, sort of generically, this whole system um, inevitably creates an escape route for the richest section of society um, from laws and rules that they don't like. Whereas everybody else who's just behaving normally, who's not, doesn't have the same opportunity to use tax havens, um, is having to obey those rules, is having to pay those taxes. How much money is in tax havens? There's various different measures. They range between um, 7 trillion and about 40 trillion US dollars um, uh, is in tax havens. Now, if you were to take that many dollar bills and put them end to end, you would have um, uh, a line of dollar bills that stretches several times along the Earth's orbit around the sun. I do not see the, the, the fight against tax havens as a leftist fight. This is not a left-right fight. This is about the corruption of markets. This is about crime. This is about democracy. You know, tax havens are undermining democracy. They are increasing criminality. They are undermining the integrity of markets.